dear students uh, once again we are back with this video lecture today we will see a problem on projection of plane uh, with the help of auxiliary method right so there are uh, general method and auxiliary method with the help of auxiliary plane so the question is draw the projection of regular pentagon of 40 mm side having its surface inclinate inclination at 30 degrees to hp and the side parallel to hp while inclined at 60 degrees to VP. Now let us see what is the basic definition of auxiliary plane. Normally, generally, you have two views of an object. So it is the front view and the top view. So it is projected on both the principal planes. And sometimes uh, not they are sufficiently conveying all the information regarding the object. So additional view called as auxiliary view is therefore projected on the other plane known as auxiliary plane auxiliary ka dusra bhi matlab hota hai an additional right so these views they have uh, found necessary importance in the technical drawing in general if you see right so auxiliary plane is used to get uh, you know true length of a line the point view of a line and hv of a line right at the same time a true shape of the plane also so these are various uh, requirement and necessities why we use an auxiliary plane right so we have normally in general three steps three stages of plane drawing in projection of plane here we'll use auxiliary method for the projection now here the surface is inclined to hp therefore we make plane parallel to hp when the plane is parallel to hp the true shape is obtained in the top view so we begin the problem from the top view so we draw line x y and now we'll draw the pentagon the side of the pentagon is 40 mm so we take a distance a comfortable distance and a draw a line of 40 mm side right so 40 mm side will be the side of the pentagon this side is 40 uh, you can name this as a b and here we take an angle 108 right so it is 108 we get a point over here similarly on this side also we have a point 108 We draw a line of four cent four TMM or four centimeter and now with the same distance in the compass that is distance A B that is fourteen the compass you place it at C and try and get an arc same distance change the center we get an arc so this is point D so this is A B C D and point E so we project it in the front to get the edge view right so this will be a dash comma B dash C dash comma E dash and T dash and now this plane is making a surface inclination at 30 degrees so surface inclination will come in the second stage taking a suitable point at a suitable distance we mark a point at 30 degrees right so this is the surface inclination at 30 degrees taking this distance in the compass that is ad in the compass we place it over here mark the point and 
we take AC in the compass directly we are transferring the points from the front view to the second stage so the first stage this is the second stage so this is a dash b dash c dash e dash and d dash and now we try and get the projectors Let the projector be light enough of lighter shade with the help of parallel lines we are transferring the points from the first stage and what we get here will be the apparent shape in the top right so intersection of a dash and a will give you a point say a this will be b c d and this will be a Connecting them will get you the apparent shape. Right. So this is the surface inclination at 30 degrees show showing the dimension as given it's 40 mm that could be shown the extension line proper arrow heads to be noted right now what is said in the problem the edge which is parallel to HP makes an inclination with VP at an angle of 60 degrees so this is the edge right this edge AB this edge AB right now this is what parallel to HP because the plane was initially parallel to HP therefore we get the true shape in the top therefore we begin the problem with the top view so this side is what parallel to HP now this side AB is inclined at what angle it is inclined at 60 degrees to VP so what we do is we extend this line we extend this line and we try and get an angle at 60 degrees Right, so here we are moving to auxiliary plane thing. So, at a comfortable distance, for example, I don't have enough space right now here, so I'll mark 60 degree over here. So this is my line at 60 degrees and with the help of roller scale I can transfer this line right. so I will transfer this at 60 degrees right. so this line is there at 60 degrees too we are making this side we are rotating at 60 degrees right अब नॉर्मली जनरली थ्री स्टेप का प्रॉब्लम जब रहता है तो हम क्या करते हैं 60 डिग्री पे लाइन बनाते हैं और इसको रीओरिएंट करते हैं और वी गेट द प्रोजेक्शन ओवर हियर नाउ दिस इज ऑक्सिलरी मेथड देयरफॉर आई विल हैव x1 y1 लाइन ओवर हियर राइट एंड आई विल ट्रांसफर द लाइन ऑल द पॉइंट्स प्रोजेक्टर राइट सो दिस इज 90 डिग्रीज मैंने प्रोजेक्टर से मार्क कर लिया सो 90 डिग्रीज पे है आई विल ट्रांसफर ऑल द प्रोजेक्टर्स perpendicular to x1 y1 right 
so this is very important we will set the ruler scale Now these are lines, uh, let us extend them further. Right. So now here we'll get the front view of this. Now when we say x1, y1, so we need to measure the distances from x, y. So this is our x, y line. Right. So what we do is we have the projector of A over here so it is here on xy line a dash kaha pe hamara xy pe to yaha pe bhi kya aega axis pe hi aega right or a ka projector is this so we'll have this point right so it will be let us say a1 dash front view hai to dash aega right next is we have b b is also on xy line so here b ka locus yaha pe hai aapka to yaha aega b1 dash Next distance is C1, C dash. So we take this distance from X1, Y1 of the front. Yaha se lehenge. C ka locus hamara. Yaha pe sorry, B1 aega. So C distance. Now this C distance from X, Y is equal to the E distance. So we pick up the same distance and mark it on projector of E. So we get it over here, right? So this is C1 dash, this is E1 dash. And now what we need is, we need D. So D, pick up this D dash distance from X, Y and place it on projector of D on X1, Y1, right? So we get this D1 dash. And connecting the points let us see what we get we'll get the projection of this plane in the front which we normal general method se obtain karte, right so B will be over here and this is how this pentagon will appear right so this is the this is the front view this is the top view and this is the auxiliary front view you can say right when this makes an angle of 60 degrees with vp which side side ab right simple right so this is a different method right we make the use of auxiliary plane normally we can have three stage problems this is a method new for you. You should also know this method and how to draw it. So thank you dear students. I hope you have understood the problem.